hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by God, creator, with certain inalienable rights that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness? Hmm, I wonder. Is this why we separated those young children from their parents while trying to enter the United States? We call it land of the free and home of the brave, yet we turn people away. Is this why we need to build the wall? Or is this why we as children are hesitant to go to school in fear that we may not return home every day? Hmm, I wonder. If the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. were here today to speak to children like you and me, I am positive that he would say, my dear children, although we have not fulfilled the dream, we cannot lose hope. You have to keep fighting. You must continue the work of your ancestors. You must rise and get out of this place of complacency. I still have a dream. It is a dream deeply rooted in the American dream. No matter your ethnicity, race, or gender, you come from a people that fought to make life better. You come from a legacy that says, I will not settle for second best. I will fight to pursue life, liberty, and happiness. Don't give in to the noise that says we need to make America great again. This implies that somewhere along the way, we stopped. Lies, or should we say, alternative facts. When we fought Great Britain for our freedom to become our own country, we proved that we are great. When we fought to restore unity to our young nation and abolish slavery during the American Civil War, we proved that we were great. When when we defeated those who threatened our homeland security, we proved that we were great. When we came together on the steps of the Lincoln Monument in 1963, we proved that we were great. When one million black men came together to sh sh show a united front and demand justice and equality, we proved that we were great. When you, the children of these United States of America, came together to protest gun violence using your voices through modern technology, you prove that we are still great. Yes. Black men, white men, Jews, and Gentiles, all of God's children. America was great, America is great, and America will be greater because we as a people will fight to pursue life, liberty, and happiness. Yes, we've still got some difficult days ahead, but that really doesn't matter with me now because I've been to the mountaintop and I've looked over and I've seen the promised land. I may not get there with you, but I want you to know today that we as a nation will get to the promised land. So I'm happy. I'm not worried. My nuts have seen the coming of the glory of the Lord. Thank you.